Hello guys. What was our today's plan? Today let's continue our previous year question paper 2014. So we finished 5 marks question in the class seminar yesterday. Okay, shall we move for the 2 mark question? Okay, which one is the first 2 mark question? First question is pulleys. So let's discuss about pulleys. Pulley is the grooved wheel, which moves around an axis and the rope or the iron cable passing through the groove. Two categories of pulley are seen as under, fixed pulley and movable pulley. In our human body lateral malleolus act as the pulley. Okay next question is line of gravity. The imaginary vertical line passes through the center of gravity is called as line of gravity. Normally, the center of gravity lies in the second sacral vertebra in the human body while erect bilateral standing posture. It will change with the positional changes. Okay next question is joint shapes. TH joint shapes a ball and socket joint pivot joint hinge joint condyloid joint saddle joint plane joint, is it correct? Yeah, which one is the next question? Next one is ironing. Ironing is a deeper style technique used to compress soft tissues. Ironing is performed using a clenched fist and often with the opposite hand supporting the wrist. Next question is two joint muscles. The articular muscles are muscles that cross two joints rather than just one, such as the hamstrings which cross both the hip and the knee. The function of these muscles is complex and often depends upon both their anatomy and the activity of other muscles at the joints. Next question is repetition maximum. One repetition maximum, one rep maximum or one RM, in weight training is the maximum amount of weight that a person can possibly lift for one repetition. It may also be considered as the maximum amount of force that can be generated in one maximal contraction. Yes, this indicates the heaviest weight you can lift with maximum effort in a single repetition. Okay, next question is Mulligan concept. Mulligan technique is a form of physical therapy that uses mobilization and movement to restore mobility for patients. This treatment plan has been used to help treat patients suffering from loss of motion associated with arthritis, pain associated with joint injuries, as well as pain from muscle injuries. Okay, next question is barrier concept. Barrier concept says a factor that tends to restrict free movement. There are different types of barriers anatomical barrier, physiological barrier, elastic barrier and restrictive barrier. Okay, next question is rhythmic initiation. Rhythmic initiation is a common technique in PNF stretching and is used for improving physical performance, it involves rhythmic movements of the limbs or body through a goal-oriented range and is initiated by passive movements that progress to active resisted movements. Ok, last to mark question is physiological relaxation. The Mitchell method of physiological relaxation often known as the simple method of relaxation is the name given to a technique of relaxing the whole or parts of your body. Once learnt and practiced, it can be used easily and anywhere to relax and reduce the muscle tension produced by stress. Guys we completed one previous year question of 2014. See you tomorrow. Okay bye.